Keeping up with routine doctor visits is a must for everyone. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Ken's 5 reporter Jeremy Baker takes us through his own journey. Jeremy? That's right, and it's about an aneurysm. It's a weakening in the artery wall. It can occur anywhere in the, any artery in the human body, including the heart, abdomen, legs, and the brain. If it ruptures, more often than not, it can lead to sudden death. When I was in high school, my father died suddenly from a brain aneurysm. Both his right and left lungs also had previously collapsed spontaneously. A few years later in college, both of my lungs spontaneously collapsed a few months apart, and so did one of my younger brother Adam's lungs. The lungs have been taken care of, but the threat of an aneurysm remains. About 20% of the time, if you have a first-degree relative with an aneurysm, uh, a first-degree relative will have an aneurysm as well. Dr. Truck Lee says because of the family history, getting screened for an aortic aneurysm, the most common, was a must. If you don't have an aneurysm, then you know, probably nothing to do and just only do something if there's, um, you know, symptoms that show up. Some of the symptoms of an aortic aneurysm include a sharp, sudden pain in the upper back, pain in the chest, jaw, neck or arms, shortness of breath, low blood pressure and loss of consciousness. Because I had two incidents of chest, neck and jaw pain in the past several months, while the EKG appeared normal, Dr. Lee said getting a better look was extremely important. The scans are basically a way to give me a 3D image of what's going on the inside of your body. Within a couple of weeks, I had the scans completed at one of their imaging centers with views of the chest and abdomen from the side and from the top. And the results? It essentially showed that your aorta was normal caliber. There was no evidence of aneurysm, which is good news. Well, Dr. Lee also says whenever there is a family history of any other life-threatening condition, the patient has to take ownership of their medical care. For more Wear the Gown stories, head to wearthegown.com. I'm so glad that everything turned out okay for you, Jeremy.